So Alter Inspire tool enables in design engineers uh, to make a right design decision starting from designing a part, analyzing the part, optimizing it, and also choosing the best manufacturing method for, for, that uh, for, for the design. Saying that, let's, let's uh, think, uh, talk about how it really works. So let's say, for, the, for example, I want to design a part and in the end manufacture a part for laser powder bed uh, 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 method or you know, SLM method, for example. So for a design engineer, the process starts with capturing loads uh, and moments and talks, operating conditions in a sense, from, from assembly. From there, we get into the topology optimization. So Inspire, come up with the best possible design with the given manufacturing constraints, such as you know, for casting, for uh, machining, like a milling, or for 3D printing. So for 3D printing, we also added a overhang shape control. So I can come up with a design which has, which requires zero supports, essentially self-supported part while I'm printing the part. Then I can take that part in a virtual printer, or print bed, where I can create supports, edit the supports, optimize the orientation for that particular part, and then finally get into the print simulation. So print simulation helps me understand um, while printing the part, if this part is going to deform, if it is, in which direction it is going to deform, uh, which parts I can change if you want to modify. Looking at the temperature and the deformation uh, for the printed part or print sim from the print simulation, for example, looking at this area, we get a lot of uh, uh, less displacement, for example. But in other areas, such as this leg over here, we, they are deforming a lot. And that we inspire predicts that while printing, while doing the print simulation. Now, I have two options. I can go back, start changing the print parameters in the printers, uh, printer machines, and maybe do a trial and error to figure out uh, the successful print in the end. But the better way is to, I can go back to my designs and make design changes very quickly, very small design changes, which won't affect my part itself, but it will uh, make my life easier when I go downstream during the print process. Now, that's, that, was a, uh, uh, that was a process for, um, if I'm doing a SLM, or the laser melting uh, 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 as a manufacturing method. But I can also do the method for uh, milling operation. No, again, it goes back to the Altair's or Inspire's philosophy about choosing the right method, uh, uh, design method for particular manufacturing process. Now, said that this is the same starting point, is the same where we capture the loads automatically for an assembly. Inspire as a topology optimization, and in this case, I told Inspire to come up with a design for milling operation or CNC operation. And now we can see the design looks much different than what we saw earlier for the SLM process. Now from there, we create a geometry, automatic geometry uh, from our uh, newly developed tools, which we can take, they prepare the, for the milling operation, but at the same time, I can um, check the parts feasibility, structurally, structural feasibility using FE analysis. I can look for the displacement, deformations, uh, stresses, one misses stresses, uh, and, and finally, we can render this part uh, in, uh, in our Inspire Studio uh, feature. And as you can see, uh, going back from this year, there are the different processes we talked about as in LPBF, uh, traditional casting, hybrid casting, where we can 3D print the sand core and then cast the part. And for that, we can also do a casting simulation. And, and all, uh, the process, again, starts here. We come up with the design and then we can go jump directly into the casting simulation to find out if I cast this part uh, using a high pressure, low pressure, or investment casting, is there going to be a problem? If there's going to be a porosity? If yes, I can, same, I can go back to my design parameters and make a design change. Again, small design change to save the cost at the end of the cast, casting process. Using this exact mechanism, we we come up with a, a, a different designs for the same exact application. Now the first application I want to show you is uh, we printed with a Reni shop. Uh, it's the SLM uh, LBPF method. Now this design was uh, with a no support structure. So the design for additive ma man manufacturing, design for additive manufacturing. So in this case, we designed a part such that it requires zero supports. 
that's the best uh, be design for an engineer, where I don't have to spend time uh, post-processing, cleaning up supports, and at the same time, I don't want to waste the material and again, save the cost in the, in the end. So this is a design for um, SLM or the rainy shop process. The second design I want to show is that this is the casted part. Very similar design, small changes again, to make sure this, this is casted part is successful every single time. The next design is more, more of a traditional design where we have a, a milling operation in a two orientation. So the design actually come up with a, 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 a holes in the pockets, sockets, such that I can orient this part in just in two orientations in, uh, in a machine shop and get, get the part. I can say the design between the machining and, and the 3D printing is really, really different. But both have the, their advantages, and again, both have their uh, the, the shortcomings in depending on the manufacturing process. Both designs are good designs. They satisfy my design criteria, loading conditions uh, uh, from that we captured in our motion simulation. Uh, they both, just the manufacturing method is different. The last one I want to show you is a binder jet design. This is a binder jet design, uh, and this is a designed for the FDM, fused deposition metal. Again, for the same bracket, the designs look much different. Because the manufacturing requirements for those, those processes are different from well, what we saw in the SLM and the machine, machining. For example, let's, let's talk about the FDM. The most critical uh, um, constraint in the FDM method is during the sintering process. So printing is pretty easy part for the FDMs or the binder jet. But when they put this green part into the oven, the part shrinks and typically the part shrinks toward the center of gravity. And in Inspire, we can assign the center of gravity as a manufacturing constraint, and so that the design looks much different than what we saw for, for some, some, something else. Again, it goes back to the philosophy of Inspire, as we so can see on the top, is choosing the best manufacturing method for a, uh, for, uh, a buyer engineer, for a buyer designer, to come up with a particular design.